Okay, got the Jeep fully, we're fully loaded up. We're gonna go do our dance film. Uh, we got a camera, bag, everything, got some walkies. Uh, I managed to get everything in here. Uh, you know, I have room to spare. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, but room to spare, it's looking pretty good. Um, Okay, running a little bit behind, but we're gonna go to this dance film. It is not a nice day. Looks very ugly outside. I'm actually not liking how everything's looking right now. But, you know, we made some rentals and we gotta make it happen. So this is what we're dealing with. Um, but I think, I think we're gonna be okay. I think it's gonna look fine. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're shooting animal freight. I'll tell you when we get there. I didn't, do you like my packing job? I pride myself in being able to pack really well because I'm prior Navy and we had to pack in some tight spaces. Uh, that's what she said. Okay, gotta go. Later. Welcome to set life. Got a little pop up tent. We got Jeep, carts. Today we're doing some steady cam stuff. Uh, we also have a ready rig going, but I'm also set up with just a chill station. Got some uh, waters and things in here. This is our location today. A little cloudy. It's not exactly what we would have like hoped for. We wanted some sun, but this is working. I'm liking it. Really looking forward to uh, getting this done and showing you what we got. No, I can't tell the future. Don't know what's coming tomorrow. All I know is you're on my mind. And everybody's dancing. It's like there's no tomorrow. I hope love something they will find. Ready for day two? I am so ready, man. What's that you got there? You got. Uh, nice, right? Really like there, that little honey. Look at that anamorphics. Well, yeah, you can't see that. <laughs> I got it yesterday. <laughs> well, this is day two. day two. I didn't get any footage yesterday uh, because it was so busy running around. But hopefully, we can get some more footage and show you what we're running. We did some steady cam yesterday. Today, we're doing ready rig. Lots of handheld stuff. It's gonna look good. Uh, maybe you've already seen footage. Maybe I threw it up here, just some like sneak peeks. And uh, I hope you enjoy. It. If you want this, I got the concrete design, gotta be heavy, yeah, yeah. If I really think you want me to be, babe, you know I'm loyal. This hand is loyal. It don't get a wet to this. It's my age But I know you go for it You never let me down I know you go for it You always hold me down Ooh, baby Been thinking about you lately Ooh, baby Been thinking <laughs> this is like the wrong way to do anything. If you want it, I got the concrete design, gotta be heavy, yeah. And if I really think you want me to be, babe, you know I'm loyal. This hand is broken, it don't get no better than this. If you need to be clean and muddy, but I'm gonna be heavy, yeah. And if I really think you want me to be, babe. interrupt this nice episode for something a little bit different but it's time that I reveal the thing that you probably clicked on this video to learn about and that's this thing 
When I first bought this, I was really happy with this product. I was glad that I was gonna get into the Steadicam world and be able to use a product that I really enjoy. And it was working out on a few film projects that I had done. I got to bring it on some music videos. I got to bring it out to test with some friends with the RED camera. And for the most part, it was performing. I'm not a professional Steadicam operator. This is something that I'm still learning and I was still working on getting used to. But one day, a friend of mine who had gotten the exact same product, he texted me and he said, hey, did your gibbon handle, when you put weight on it, did it bend on you? And I said, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I, uh, mine has been performing pretty well so far. I haven't had any problems, even with my heavier cameras. I asked him, how much weight did you put on it? And he's like, well, I don't think it was that much. At the very least, it was 20 pounds or something like that. These things are graded for like, up to 30 pounds, the arm especially is rated for that. So it should have been fine. It could have been a fluke or it could have been a, you know, happenstance, a lemon product, as you will. These things kind of happen. Except on the first day we were filming this dance video project, I took my Confinity and I put it on the sled and I started to balance it. And as soon as I put it on my chest rig with the arm, my gimbal handle bent. Now it may be a little hard to see with this, but here you can see that the handle is bent down there. This, this part just kind of snapped. So it's not, it's not exactly straight. You can see it's kind of curving down this way. Just the weight that was on the sled bent this little attachment here and now it's just kind of like bent now it's still holding weight and for the most part you're still getting a range of motion here it's still kind of working i can't say and actually now just like i had just i screwed it <laughs> and actually just now I screwed it and now it's actually uh, flush. It's actually back to like where it needs to be. You screwed it in, the gap's gone. Seems to be working fine. I didn't expect that to go back on. It seems to be working fine. Now this thing is still doing its job and uh, it's not necessarily bent in a way or warped in a way that like I feel like is uh, detrimental to the structural integrity. Granted, if it does unscrew like that, clearly you're gonna to need to like get it back on there. You don't want that gap. You don't want that gap in there, otherwise that will um, degrade that structural integrity. So yeah, a little bit awkward. Now when I bought this thing and when I showed it to you, I said it's gonna have its little quirks and it certainly has shown that. And another thing that I needed to talk about was how shaky that arm really was. Now, the arm on the chest rig, it says it's rated for 30 pounds at maximum. It's really hard to say what exactly the weight limit is, but, uh, and I have, I feel like put things on there that are heavier than that, and it's worked out just fine. Except when I was doing this project, even after tightening those springs all the way up, it was still shaking quite a bit. I had a lot of shake on the lens. I had a lot of shake on the camera and it wasn't taking out my footsteps in the way that I would have liked it to. Bear in mind, disclaimer, I am not a professional Steadicam operator. I'm still learning how to work these things. I'm still learning how to get the right balance on these things. I'm still trying to figure out what the best method is for these products. I'm just learning as I go, as you would with anything. And I have to say though, I'm a little bit disappointed with how shaky things were and I'd never experienced that before. So we were in that quarry, we were on that rocky ground and I was doing some very long takes with this thing. And uh, granted, we were able to supplement that with some handheld stuff, as you saw with the Easy Rig, we were able to supplement with some uh, other types of shooting. We didn't rely completely on the Steadicam, but we did want to, if we could, go for a long uh, Steadicam shot at the very end. And uh, that did work out. You put the new warp stabilizer on Premiere, you throw that on the footage, and it seemed to work just fine. You don't notice the shake that much. The raw footage, though, without image, stabi without image stabilization on your camera, 
you're going to get a little bit of shake. Another thing to mention, we were on an 85 millimeter anamorphic lens. Uh, so that also is going to pick up all those jitters a lot more than you probably would on, say, a 24, 35 things that you're normally going to run with a steady cam on a wide angle lens because of what it is. So I want to put that out there. I want to show it. I feel like when people see that I bought this thing, when people say that um, they're like, oh, hey, this is a great product, a good starter thing. It's you're doing this at your own risk. When you buy this thing, you're going to have some risk factors involved as opposed to getting a used professional product or something that is going to be more in line with the professional things that you're seeing on film sets, things like that, even if it is a little more expensive. So I want you to keep that in mind. If you're going for a product like this, there are going to be some quirks. There are some things you're going to have to fight and you're going to have to battle and you got to learn your stuff. This product, even though I'm happy with it, I'm still probably going to use it whenever I can. If I have no other product available, especially whenever I'm able to fly um, some lighter load cameras, things like that. That said, I didn't want to continue endorsing a product that I couldn't endorse 100%. And even though I can maybe endorse this 50% or 60% or something like that, as a product that could work for you if you're willing to get through it, if you want something that works really well and is probably not going to give you the quirks and the problems that you're going to get, you don't want to get this thing. I didn't want you to see my last video, not have an update on it, not know the problems that I'm dealing with it, the fact that like this will come undone, the screws are going to strip on you, possibly. Uh, I've had a few of those issues. Don't know what's going to happen if I need to replace things. I just didn't want you to go without an update, without knowing that, yes, I've had these issues. Yes, there are people out there that don't uh, endorse this product. Yes, there's probably reasons for that. And I wanted to give you my own experience with it and be real and upfront with you because I'm not sponsored by these guys. I'm not being paid to like endorse these products. When I bought this, I bought this with my own money and I put my own savings into it. You're messing up my shot. Madigan. I bought this with my own money. I'm not paid to uh, endorse this product and I wanted to give a fair and even review a month or so, uh, several months after using it. The same way I want to talk about the Confinity camera eventually and tell you what's going on with that. Um, but in the meantime, yes. This is a product that like has gone down for me in terms of like how I would review it or how I would uh, suggest users use it. Is it something that can still work for you? Probably. Uh, if you don't have the money for the more expensive products, uh, will this work for you? Yeah. Would I fly a heavy cinema camera on this product? When I get more comfortable with it, yes. Would I suggest you doing that? No. Find something that uh, is a reasonable weight, probably one of the, uh, you know, FX6 or something like that, black magics in my camera, maybe with a little bit of rigging. Make sure it's not weighing so much before you put it on there. Learn how to use it before you do. Otherwise, you're going to run into a lot more problems than maybe I did. Uh, I would still prefer this and the look that I get from it uh, over the gimbal look that I have, but at the same time, if I'm working harder to make this work for my purposes than I would be with an actual electronic gimbal, then it's not doing me any favors. And so you gotta find something that you're not gonna work as hard for. Um, granted, I'm a tough person. I really like putting my money where my mouth is, and I prefer trying to get something to work for me if I can because I believe in it so much. And it's not necessarily this product, that's just the steady cam feel that I want in general, as opposed to electronic gimbals. But again, for the money, you can get a good electronic gimbal, probably not one that can fly a cinema camera. So again, pros and cons, gotta weigh it out. Just so you know, this thing, it's still working now. It might break on me in a month. I don't know. I'll let you know if that happens. At the end of the day, it's really hard to say that this is 100% the way that you need to go want you to know that as with any product it depends on who's using it and it depends on what your uses are for it and how much you need to get out of it you know so keep that in mind that said i hope you enjoyed this uh i hope that wasn't out of focus completely all the way and uh yeah enjoy the rest of this little bit of vlog 
of me hanging out with a girlfriend and the dogs at the park because that's what this whole thing's about, right? Just getting some footage and having some fun with my DJ Osmo. Just live your life. Do whatever you want to do with your life and don't let me tell you what to do. Uh, get in the comments if you want to say, I told you so. Okay, see you later. Future talk. No, I can't tell the future. Don't know what's coming tomorrow. All I know is you're on my mind. And everybody's dancing. It's like there's no tomorrow. I hope love's something they will find. And I'm trying to reach out. Some more these days, God.